Hey everybody, this is Alejandro. I am a freelance paranormal investigator and producer and host of Dead Explorer, a paranormal web series on YouTube. And my friend said Extra Normal asked me to uh, answer a few questions for their website. I'm actually at Fort Ringgold, uh, one of the most haunted uh, military bases turned abandoned school uh, in South Texas. And we've had a crazy activity and we're driving between a couple of the buildings here. I thought I'd answer some of extranormal.com's questions. Uh, you know, they asked me if I'm a skeptic, and uh, honestly, when I first started, which way do I go? Right. When I first started, I would say uh, I, I was skeptical. Uh, I think partially just so I wouldn't psych myself out filming investigations, but I've seen so many things from my friend Jay uh, getting scratched and choked and uh, you know even in Alameda the USS Hornet just last month I captured a little girl talking that it was just amazingly clear it's like the the experiences you have eventually start convincing you that there's something out there that could be unexplained or paranormal and so uh, I've become a believer and, uh, you know, I've always been into the paranormal. When I was a little boy, I, I loved, uh, you know, reading about uh, Bigfoot and Loch Ness and, uh, you know, the Black Panther under the White House. You want to park here? Or can we yeah, get closer? Yeah, you can go into there a little bit. You know, and oh, okay. And, uh, and, and even, you know, ghost stories. So, do you care if I park, uh, drive on the grass or no? No problem. No There's problem? No grass. And for anybody who wants to learn how to do paranormal investigations, I'll tell them you don't really need any fancy equipment. Uh, you know, you'll capture a lot of experiences just, you know, with your eyes and ears. And that's what could convince you that there's something out there. If you're looking out to find answers, you don't need to buy equipment. Just go out by yourself, see if you like it. And if you experience things, then maybe you'll want to you know, invest some more into paranormal equipment. So we're going to this building right here. We're doing an experiment. We left a, 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 a bouncy ball for a, a little girl who they say haunts this abandoned school. If we left it there, we're actually gonna go back inside and see if it's been moved. Uh, another question they asked me is, you know, what's one of the most haunted places I've ever been in? And really just uh, off the top of my head, I can think of a few places, La Bourdais House in Rio Grande City, where this fort's at. You know, we were there and we had a little girl speak out loud. We could hear it. We caught it with a recording device. Uh, my friend got scratched. The USS Hornet is the most haunted ship in the Navy because it's the site of the most suicides of any ship in the Navy on the Hornet. More people commit suicide than any other Navy ship there. Right. And uh, so that place has a lot of activity. And uh, at Gonzales County Prison, that place was so negative that not only uh, was there uh, physical attacks, there was emotional attacks. So you got really scared and upset and, and angry. You kind of started feeling like hate inside you. So that was a really weird experience. So uh, my best advice is if you're ever in a place and you feel like somebody's uh, you know, negative energy, sometimes uh, you know if you are personally experiencing a lot of stress or uh, drama in your personal life, Sometimes in an investigation, people believe a spirit can invoke that out of you. I also believe that, you know, if you are under a lot of stress and you walk into an investigation carrying that, investigations can be very, uh, they, they, they can be experiences where you really hide all your emotions and you hide all your senses. And, and so if you walk in depressed, you might feel more depressed after you do it when you investigate. So, Go into an investigation clear-headed, and that's a good way to avoid any kind of negative energy. So uh, I appreciate that. My friends at extranormal.com asked me uh, to answer a few questions for them. Uh, this episode's from Fort Ringgold will be coming out on my show, Dead Explorer, on YouTube or deadexplorer.com. And uh, just check extranormal.com out. Check out Dead Explorer. Talk to you later. Bye.